Hello again everyone, this is Mr. Gee with a video that covers the worksheet that we're working on today, which is 7.3a. It covers the topic of writing linear inequalities given their graphs. We're also going to be using the slope intercept form of a line, and we're going to change that to the standard form. The directions say, study the graphs given below and write inequalities for each line. If a line passes through both the x and y axis, the inequality has a positive or negative slope and a y-intercept. Therefore, we're going to have to use this form of an equation. The directions continue by telling us, first write this inequality in slope-intercept form. This is slope-intercept form here. And then change it to standard form, which is, will be this form here. If the line passes through the x-axis, and what that means, it's only passing through the x-axis. The inequality only has an x variable. And then on the other hand, if the line passes through only the y-axis, inequality will only have a y variable. Our first problem that we'll do is problem number three. We'll just take each one of these inequalities. We'll do one at a time. Looking at this first inequality, we have a solid line, so that means we have an equals two bar. If I look at the shading, I shade below, so that has to be less than. Now I want to look at the slope. If you look at the line, I'm giving I'm, I'm given two points, one there, one there, and if I count down and over I can find the slope. Remember the y's are on top, the changes in the x direction are on the bottom. So we count down 1, 2, 3, 4. That will be a negative 4 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that slope will simplify to a negative 1 half. Now the next thing I have to find is my y-intercept. My y-intercept there is 0, so it's 1, 2, 3 my y-intercept is 3. Now we'll write the inequality for this first line. So y is less than or equal to a negative 1 half x plus 3. Now we have to write this in slope-intercept form. I have a denominator of 1, a denominator of 1, I want to clear that denominator, so I will multiply this one by 2 over 2, 2 over 2. The denominators will now drop. Now, that will give me 2y is less than or equal to a negative 1x plus 6. Now we have to write this in slope inter or in standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. I have to get the x term on the other side, so I'll, I will just add it to each side. Now this final inequality is 1x plus 2y is less than or equal to 6. So 1x plus 2y is less than or equal to 6. Now we've got two other ones to do. We'll do this next one in blue. Now if you look there, there's the two points that we're given. If we look at the line, it's solid, so we're going to have an equal to bar. We're shaded above, so it will be greater than. My slope should be the same because they're parallel lines. It looks like we count down 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so it is the same. And then my y-intercept, there's 0 right here, and I count down 1, 2, so that's a negative 2. Now let's write our second inequality, y is greater than or equal to a negative one-half x minus two. Now as we did before, I want to get a common denominator. 
once I have the common denominator we can drop it so 2y is greater than or equal to a negative 1x minus 4 we'll add 1x to each side now our final inequality is 1x plus 2y is greater than or equal to a negative 4 1x plus 2y is greater than or equal to a negative 4 so there is our second inequality now we just have one more left to write and it's for the for the horizontal line we can see this line only goes through the y-axis we can see it's a dotted line so it's either going to be greater than or less than there's no equal to bar I shade above so it will be greater than and it crosses through the y-axis it crosses at 1 so there is my last inequality y is greater than 1 so that's it for problem number 3 and we'll go on and do problem number 4 In problem number four, we'll approach it the same way we did three. We'll just take uh, one equation at a time. Let's take uh, this inequality first. Look for our two points. I have a point there and a point there. If I look at the line, it's a solid line, so I know it will have an equal two bar. And from looking here at the shaded re region, I can tell that it will be less than. So this equation will be less than or equal to. Now I want to find the slope. I count up 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, 2, 3. So that slope is a positive 4 over 3. And now to find my y-intercept, I look to where this line crosses the y-axis, and it crosses at a positive 4. Now we'll go ahead and write this inequalities. We'll have y is less than or equal to now remember we're using y equals mx plus b writing it in slope intercept form and then we change it to standard form which is ax plus by equals c so y is less than or equal to 4 over 3x plus 4 now to write this in slope intercept form or in standard form, we want to clear our denominator. The denominator is 3, so let's get a common denominator everywhere, and then we can drop our denominator. Now that will give us 3y is less than or equal to 4x plus 12. Subtract 4x from each side. Now our final inequality is a negative 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 12. 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 12. All right, we've got one of them done. Let's move on to the next one. Shall we do the vertical line here? You can see that only goes through the y-axis, so this will only have a y variable. It doesn't have an equal to bar because it's dotted and looking at the shaded area I shade above so this will be y is greater than 1. y is greater than 1. Now for our last one, this line right here does not have an equal to bar because it's a dotted line but it looks like we shade below the line so that would be less than our slope there's our two dotted lines I count down two and over one two three four five so that slope is a negative two over five and my y-intercept B looks to be six now we'll go ahead and write our second inequality so y 
is less than, right, less than, our slope is a negative 2 over 5, x, following this format here, and then our y-intercept is 6. Now we have to change it to slope intercept or to standard form. We have a common denominator of 5. So 5 over 5 doesn't change anything because it's a form of 1. 5 over 5 to there. So 5y is less than a negative 2x plus 30. Now to get this completely in standard form, we're going to subtract the x term from here, or add the x term. Now our final inequality is 2x plus 5y is less than 30. So 2x plus 5y is less than 30. Alright, there's problem number four. So a couple of things to remember is that we always want to identify the type of operator we have by the type of line, dotted or solid. We go to our shaded region to decide if the operator is less than or greater than. Then once we have that, we look for the slope and the y-intercept. Then we're able to write our inequalities. Once we have our inequality, we clear the denominator and finish writing it in standard form. So there's, those are just the simple steps that we need to follow. Well, thanks for tuning in, and I appreciate it if you'd leave a comment or if you'd like to subscribe to my web page, my YouTube page, that would be great. Thank you, and have a good afternoon.